Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about metric unit of measurement. So what is metric system? This measurement become the most used system of measurement worldwide because it is easier to use considering the conversion factor which are usually the decimal system. Remember this metric conversion. We use this one for length, this one is for the weight, and this one is for the capacity. It is for kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, and milli. So para mas madaling matandaan kung paano yung pagkakasunod-sunod nila, pakitandaan lang yung King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So, dito sa unit, pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, nagbabago-bago to ha. It's either gram, meter, or liter. Okay. Now, to understand it further, let's have an example. Convert the following measurement. So, these are the given. So, let's now answer the number one. 3.5 km or kilometer is equal to blank dam. What is dam? Decameter. So, using the metric converter, we are going to convert kilometer to decameter. So, bago yan, ilalatag ko muna yung mga metric converter. So, kung meter ang kanyang unit of measurement, ito yung gagamitin natin. Ito naman kapag gram. At ito naman ang gagamitin natin kapag liter naman ang ating i-convert. Now, let's proceed. So, di ba ang i-convert natin ay km papunta kay dam or decameter. So, we are going to count how many units from km to dam. So, let's count. 1, 2. There are 2 units. Now, use 3.5. From the decimal point, move 2 unit to the right. So, tandaan, kung ano ang movement natin sa metric converter, yun din ang gagamitin natin kapag i-convert natin si 3.5. So, let's go back to the given. Mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places. So, 1, 2. Then, add 0 to the missing place value. At alam natin na ang decimal point ay after ng 0. So, therefore, our final answer is 350 dam or decameter. Example number 2. 0.65 HL or hectoliter to ML or milliliter. Again, bilangin muna natin kung ilang unit from HL to ML. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 units. Now, use the 0 0.65. So, from the decimal point, we are going to count 5 places to the right. Same lang sa kung ilang unit at kung saan papunta ang ginawa natin sa metric converter. Now, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, add zeros to the missing place value. Therefore, our final answer is 65,000 ml. So, disregard na yung zero na ito ha, yung zero na before ng decimal point, mawawala na yan dyan. Okay? So, now, let's proceed to example number 3. 52.7 bm is equal to blank hm. So, let's count how many units from DM to HM. So, 1, 2, 3. Meron tayong 3 units. Now, let's convert 52.7. So, since ang movement ng DM to HM ay papunta sa left, so, dito sa 52.7, from the decimal point, mag-move tayo ng 3 units papunta sa left. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, add zeros doon sa missing place value. 
And don't forget na kung saan nag-stop ang movement natin, doon natin ilalagay ang decimal point. So, 52.7 dm is equal to 0.0527 hm or 0.0527 hm. Okay? Next example, number 4. 25 hm to dm. Now, count the number of units. So, 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 units. So, in 25, wala kang nakikitang decimal point, di ba? Tandaan, na kapag wala kang nakikitang decimal point, makikita ito sa dulo. So, after yun ang 5. Now, we count 3 units from 5, syempre. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, add zeros doon sa missing place value. Therefore, the answer is 25,000. Next example number 5, 0.99 gram to mg or milligram. Again, let's count uh, how many units from uh, gram to milligram. So, 1, 2, 3. So, again, from 0.99, we are going to count 3 units. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, add 0 to the missing place value. Therefore, our final answer is 990 mg or milligram. Again, yung 0 bago ang decimal point ay mawawala na. Huwag natin ilalagay na 0990 ha. It will become whole number. So, the final answer is 990 mg. Now, it's your turn. Convert the following to the desired unit. So, if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, it is about English system. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!